Station one two check one two. This is a microphone, and we're using the voice meter first channel here. Voice meter is uh, on this particular laptop. It has a Realtek ASIO driver, and for voice meters A one output, I'm using the Realtek ASIO driver. And we have the latency down pretty low at 44100 sample rate and 160 frames. Let's go into the menu here, take a look at that. So right here is the ASIO buffers, 160. And if we bring this up at 3 milliseconds in the Realtek ASIO control panel, that works out to sample rate 44100 and buffer of 160. And I'm not noticing any delay when I'm hitting the paddles or the straight key. And for the hardware input, you just leave it as is. Once you bring up the ASIO, you'll have three ASIO inputs. And the first one is the microphone. Voice meter also has a compressor and a gate threshold. So if you set your mic down, you won't get room noise. So you'll, this will only send audio because it has the B2 channel selected. Voice meter includes two of its own virtual sound cards, the voice meter Veo and the voice meter aux. We're using the aux channel to send audio to Mumble for transmit. We're using voice meter Veo to receive audio from Mumble. So I'll demonstrate the receive here and you'll see a little VU meter show up in this Veo channel on this left side. And when, we, uh, when we're sending audio, it's going out this channel here. The aux channel. So these two virtual sound cards keep the input of mumble going back to, I mean the output of mumble going back to the input of mumble so you don't get that feedback. So I'll show you the settings now for mumble we're using. For the audio input, we're using voice meter aux veo, this last three words here. And the VU meter you see with my microphone, and this is about the level that we try to get to. On the audio output, we have voice meter veo. So that keeps, those are two different virtual sound cards with similar names, but it keeps the audio separate in voice meter. So this setup is working pretty well. Now you can control the volume of voice meter that you hear here uh, at this slider. Over here is where it goes out to mumble input. So you can watch that dial to, to adjust it uh, higher or lower, whatever is needed. So this is the uh, voice meter aux channel in normal mode, this very last slider to the right. This one right here. So those are the basic settings for our Morse code and a microphone on voice meter. On Aho CW, we're using voice meter's own unique virtual ASIO driver called the voice meter aux virtual ASIO. Same sample rate. Right? And we're using COM4 and a USB to serial port adapter. That's what's keying everything and it's working pretty well. So for sending CW and microphone voice, straight key, keyboard, paddles, this little setup is doing a pretty good job. Thanks for watching.